Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this uh, motor driver based on L9110 module to control two motors. As you can see, we can change the direction of rotation and we can switch or control each motor separately. You can get the code for this project by clicking at the link at the description below, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. And this is the module. These two connectors are for motor A and these two connectors are for motor B. There is no polarity because it's for DC motor. You can, whichever we want. These two chips are that's the same. So this is for one motor independently. You can stop a motor, you can rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise and this can do the same thing. So two motors. These two together can be used to control a stepper motor, which I will cover it in a separate video, but this is just for DC motors. And here we have six pins. This is for motor B on this side. So these two are in the same path. So these two input will go to this chip and control this. And these two are, uh, that's A1B and that's A1A. Here we have B1A and B1B. So these two, and that too. The two at the middle we have here ground which will be connected to the ground and VCC which can be connected to a voltage of 2.6 to 12 volts because this chip can handle it and so you connect it to a voltage according to what your motors need so the system will can uh, control the motor. The width of this module is 23.1 millimeter so the height the depth or height is 13.7 millimeter. If you want to know the weight, 5.6 or 7 grams. Now let's have a look at the data sheet. This L9110 chip will be in two types. So that's it. One, one will be the surface mount and the other will be the DIP8. And the operating voltage is 2.5 to 12 volts. And then 800 milliampere continuous, that's very important and uh, to know because a higher current will damage it. It can go from 750 to 800, but peak current can go 1.5 to 2 ampere, 2 ampere, but that is just oh, momentarily. So it has built in reverse diodes impact of the current, so that is there as well. And here are the pins on the chip. so. Uh, that's output of A, that's, and that is output for B. So the motor will be connected here and here. So this is the VCC, that is the input A, input B. So you can control that one separately, this one separately. And here are some typical other values for this. And then for output, this is a through table. If input 1A is high, this is low, then you see YIA and out A is together, they change. If this is high, that will be high. If this is low, that will be low, and so forth. And here is a diagram, so this uh, shows the input and this shows the output. So make sure to understand that when A is high, B is low. So they are opposite of each other. And here, the chip is c connected to a DC motor here. In our case, we have two of this. That's why we can control two motors. Let me explain the wiring. So each motor has two wires. So this is a motor connected with two wires. And then the two wires. So here we have for motor B. These two are for motor B. The polarity doesn't matter because it, it can be reversed. So you can find whichever way you want to connect it. And also this is the other motor that is connected here. So this is for motor A. That is one is 1A, the other one is 1B. And this is for the motor B, this is 1A, that's 1B. So f for both of these, these are the input. And then the middle one here, this is the ground, which is connected to the Arduino, to the ground here, to the ground pin. And this is the VCC. Because the motor that I'm using are uh, 12 volts, I've connected it to 12 volts external source. This VCC have been connected to external source. If your motors can work with 5 volts and uh, with the lower current, 
you can connect it directly to VCC here to 5 volts or if it's 3.3 volts because this can work from 2.5 up to uh, up to 12 volts so that's fine so you can connect it to any voltage you want but I've connected it externally and then uh, also this ground is also shared between these two wires so the power supply that I have and these two have been connected to my power supply and the uh, VCC is connected here and the ground from my power supply is connected to here and the for the for the motor B these are connected to pin 8 and 9 and then from motor A this is the input it has been connected to pin 2 and 3 these wires doesn't matter you can connect them in any way you want and then you will find out which way your motor rotates so let me explain the code that's a1a that's pin 2 a1b that's pin 3 so these two are used for controlling motor a and that's for motor b 1a and 1b are defined as 8 and 9 so because these are constant they cannot be changed so here we set up the uh, B1A or B1B as an output and also A1A and A1B as an output so these are needed so this is for mm, pen 2, 3 and this is for 8 and 9 and then there is a de delay to uh, give a little time for the system to start and then the loop starts from here to here and then we have these methods I've created this method which I'm going to explain it next at the bottom but uh, to understand it we are, we, when we want the motor A to rotate we just put the direction R and this is a delay and then we say motor A left this L mean rotate left I didn't use clockwise counterclockwise because this would have been three letters so just uh, R and L and then O mean mm, uh, off so that is when you turn off so you put R, L or O and this will turn off the motor and then this is for motor B so this is for motor A and that's for motor B and continues like that uh, let me explain the motor A the motor A and motor B are the same and we have a character D that is the, let the letter R or L so we check if D is equal equal these two equal means comparison for comparison so we are comparing if D is equal capital R so that if that is right we say a1 is low and then the other one is high if it's L we just go in the opposite when A1A A was low this A1A A is high so we just change the polarity and motor rotates the other way and then when when this is not R and L this must be something else so it will stop A1A A is low and A1B is low when both of these are low the motor will stop and the same thing for motor B we did the same thing here continues low and high one direction high and low the other direction and low and low will stop it uh, so whichever way you want you can just uh, put here the value and make the motor rotate in a direction that you desire you can see here I put two LEDs to show the direction so green is clockwise and the red is counterclockwise and these motors are rotating consecutively so either stop both or both of them uh, rotating at the same time or you can just control one in one way and the other is rotating on the other way and both of them are now stopped and then starting again so first motor A go to the right this goes to the left and then a stop and then motor B goes to the right and then goes to the left and then a stop and then both motors rotate and then both to the left and then both stop and here for five seconds and then it comes back to this and it continues like that thank you for watching this was introduction on how to use this L9110 chip with this module to control DC motors. Uh, please subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos and I might have a video to control a uh, stepper motor using this so this can be used for that purpose. See you next time.